welcome. Today we are looking at TC Electronics Sky Surfer Reverb. Nice basic reverb pedal, nice solid box. Uh, this is part of their lower priced range. You can probably tell that by the look of it. Um, kind of just these, they've got these U shaped, um, you know, metal things screwed together, one each way, nice and solid flat sides so you can stack them next to other pedals everything's in the top here in terms of your connections 9 volt 100 milliamp um, power supply inputs and outputs on the top there sometimes that's handy sometimes it's not that always depends what you're putting it next to and where it is on your pedal board your controls here you have a switch here spring reverb plate reverb and hall reverb we will listen to those later on. Tone control. It works like a tone control. Uh, I'm sure you understand what that is. Mix is the amount of reverb that you are going to be hearing. So if I have it all the way up, then you're just going to hear the reverb and none of the dry signal, which is basically your guitar without reverb on it. If I have it all the way down, then you're going to hear just your guitar without reverb in it, at which point you might as well turn it off. You, you get them. so and there's a variance in between and the amount of reverb that you're adding so I generally have this set like I just have my tone up and down because uh, I don't use this so much for a tone control as other things the amp and yada 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 you've got all this other stuff controlling your tone anyway um, so that's normally how I have it set, and I, I run it most of the time under all my overdrives and everything. It's great at just warming stuff up, filling it out, and then the great thing about these is if you do want a bit more reverb, these big dorky knobs on here are awesome for changing with your foot. So you don't have to bend down if you want more reverb, you can just chuck your foot right on top of there, and these twist real easy. Which I'll show you when I get this back on the board and we have a listen to it, so let's do that right now. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll have a listen to a variety of sounds now on the Sky Reverb um, 2017 uh, Telecaster Standard Humbucker Humbucker uh, that is just what I needed, I know there are people going why don't you get single coils, but unfortunately uh, one of the venues that I work in is not good electrically so I have to go for humbuckers can split one of the coils so it's all right um, anyway I'm just going into a PV Envoy 110 just a cheap amp uh, that's everything's just real standard and cheap this isn't the amp I normally use by the way don't freak out um, this is just something I have at home uh, but that's what we'll use today so that you know that the amps really not doing any work I've got it set real basic um, I've taken all the reverb off the amp, so it's not contributing anything, it's all going to be the pedal. So I'll just switch the pedal off to begin with. And here is my clean sound. Okay, so we'll flick the pedal on now. Uh, this is on the hall setting. This is where I normally use it. This is where I've got it set on my board. Um, and I, I leave this thing on, to be honest, most of the time. I like sitting it under my overdrives and everything. Um, I will play you an example with the overdrive uh, later on. Um, but this is where I have it. So the other 
thing to listen to is uh, it's just a little bit muddy there. I've just just with this amp, there's just a little bit of mud to it. I find actually with the reverb on that cleans up quite a bit. brings a, a little bit of brightness to it as well um, and that's having the thing set you know pretty low you can see the settings there um, you've got settings for plate So tone, I generally leave tone here in the middle, um, just because I don't really need this to be working a lot of tone for me. But if we make it a little bit lower, set to hall. Spring is normally what you'll get from an amp. Uh, normally I use a, um, what's it called? A, uh, a PV Classic 50, the um, big twin 12 um, tube amp. I think it was twin 12. 12, 10. I think it was 12. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, a bigger tube amp is normally what I use. So I use a little bit of reverb from that, and then, uh, like I say, I have this pedal on most of the time as well. So if we brighten the tone a little bit.
Our mixer is going to adjust how much of the reverb you hear as opposed to um, what we're actually playing. So the reverb that's coming afterwards is now louder than the notes that we're initially playing. So let's crank that right up and just see what happens. Now it's just all the reverb. Quite well if you swell it with the volume pedal. So I'll just get that little kick moving the volume pedal. So that's just another another effect you can use, but you can do that with any reverb with a mix control. Um, so I generally I don't like the reverb to take over, I like it to sit in the background, that's why I have it set quite low. So I wouldn't have it much past there. Uh, and then of course you'll level a reverb. there I think you've certainly got enough range in terms of uh, the amount of reverb that you want um, like I say I, I actually have it quite dialed back uh, the other thing I was talking about was these dials this is kind of awkward because I'm sitting down rather than standing up but here we go with our foot see how easy that is compared to uh, something like the boss pedals with tiny little knobs on it that's what I like about these big knobs, you can just chuck your foot on, it's real simple, move it to where you want. Cool, uh, so let's look at how, how it works alongside an overdrive, so I'm just going to use the Boss SD1, just a cheap, basic overdrive. Um, I've got the drive dialed back on that thing because they got they got a bit of headroom in terms of their drive. Uh, so the drive at the moment on that is what would you call the 10 o'clock. Dry 
rise up a bit. Okay, so uh, drop the tune in there. without the reverb behind it. And the reverb there just warms it, warms it right up. Uh, so it's, it's a fairly basic reverb, um, but I think it's great for the price. I think it, it uh, does the job, um, and it's got a couple of cool features like that. Um, being able to change the dial so easily with your foot uh, on my whole pedal board that's pretty much the only pedal uh, that I can do that easily with so like if I want to kick the reverb or the mix up a bit um, even change the tone a bit it's real easy just to chuck my foot down and do it rather than having to bend down and screw it around with my hand all the time um, so yeah I, I like it I reckon for the price it's a great way to go uh, so that is the TC Electronic Sky Reverb. Remember to like and subscribe.